What would happen if we nuked the moon? Since its formation 4.5 billion years ago, following a colossal impact with a planetoid, the moon has exerted a profound influence on Earth, shaping its evolution. Orbiting our planet ever since, it pulls at our oceans and seas, creating tidal bulges that have quite literally stirred life into being what it is today. But since World War II, there's been a burning question humans keep coming back to. One that might irreversibly change the course of our planet forever. The idea of detonating a nuclear bomb on the moon might sound like science fiction, like the plot of the movie Oblivion, where aliens target the moon as a strategy to conquer Earth. But surprisingly, during the Cold War, both the United States and the Soviet Union were seriously entertaining the idea of detonating a nuclear bomb on the moon. With intense political and cultural tensions rising, such extreme measures seemed almost rational. In 1958, the Armour Research Foundation, under the guidance of the US Air Force, devised a plan to study the effects of a nuclear explosion on the lunar surface and assess the potency of nuclear weapons in space. This top-secret plan, known to involve Carl Sagan in its classified stages, aimed to demonstrate supreme military force. At the same time, the Soviets had their secret project, known as the E-Project, with the same goals in mind. Fortunately, none of these plans came to fruition, and humanity ultimately chose a path of exploration instead, sending astronauts to the moon. So, the concept of nuking the moon isn't new, but it certainly raises a couple of big questions. Why would anyone want to do it, and what would happen if we did? At present, even if we combined all our nuclear capabilities, we wouldn't have quite enough power to completely obliterate the moon. The worst we could likely do is break it into several large pieces that would eventually come together due to gravitational forces, although it would look quite different in our night sky. But let's think about a hypothetical scenario where we had the technology to nuke and completely destroy the moon. Why would anyone pursue such a destructive act? The implications of destroying the moon would be universally negative for Earth. The moon does far more than illuminate our night skies. It protects us by intercepting asteroids that could otherwise strike Earth. If the moon were fragmented or destroyed, these space rocks would pose a direct threat to our planet. On top of this, the loss of the moon would have profound effects on Earth's stability. Without its gravitational pull, the tides would diminish, significantly impacting marine life and coastal ecosystems. Additionally, the Earth's tilt and rotation would be affected, leading to drastic changes in climate and seasons. Essentially, the Moon acts as a stabilizer for our planet's orientation and climate, making all life on Earth possible. In exploring these scenarios, we gain a deeper appreciation for the Moon's role in our solar system and the delicate balance that allows life to thrive on our planet. The moon, often taken for granted as it hangs quietly in the sky, is an indispensable ally to Earth, influencing not only the natural world but also the conditions that have allowed civilizations to flourish. But let's say we really did destroy the moon, what exactly would happen? Picture this, we've just decided to test our newest and most powerful new nuclear weapon with unknown power. It just so happens that this weapon is so powerful that it completely and accidentally destroys our moon. The initial explosion of the moon produces 70 sextillion kilograms of debris. Think of the Great Pyramids of Giza, one of the biggest structures humans ever built, weighing about 6 million metric tons. Now imagine a pile of great pyramids, not a few, not even a few thousand, but enough to fill the entire state of Texas. Stack these pyramids on top of each other until they reach the edge of space. This is still less than 76 trillion kilograms. This astronomical mass, now perilously close to our planet, fragments the moon into countless colossal pieces, some as vast as skyscrapers, all hurtling towards Earth with the potential to unleash unprecedented devastation. The scale of such a disaster is hard to comprehend. We'd need to deploy about 9,015 megaton nuclear bombs with each the same size as the Castle Bravo bomb. This barrage forms a deadly barrage of debris. It takes a few days to reach us, but you can see it coming closer every hour. It begins to rain down on Earth. Recall the Chelyabinsk meteor? A small 66 feet in diameter, yet causing huge damage and injury when it exploded in the atmosphere. Now multiply by thousands of impacts globally across months. As humans scramble in all directions, the scenes of destruction are at an apocalyptic scale. 
The fragments re-enter the atmosphere and burn up due to their velocity. The air is superheated, turning the Earth into an oven. Large pieces which stretch miles wide create a huge craters deep in the Earth's surface. Anyone need the blast radius is vaporized. The skies now become covered in a huge cloud of dust, blocking all sunlight. The only light you see now is the ominous glow of lunar fireballs raining down. Now the moon is gone. The Earth is sent into an uncontrolled tilt, flipping on its side and dramatically altering the sunlight each region of the world receives. Parts of the planet are plunged into complete and enduring darkness. This instability leads to extreme weather patterns and seasons are never the same again. Large areas of Earth are now completely uninhabitable and ecosystems are completely wiped out, with the moon now just memory and remains of this space rock scattered across the Earth. The long-term effects have just started. As the dust settles, our oceans begin to feel the absence. Without the moon's gravitational pull, the tides start to falter. The once predictable ebb and flow that marine species relied on for survival grows erratic. Navigation routes that species relied on for millions of years shift suddenly and chaotically. Coastal ecosystems face irreversible transformations, impacting both fishing industry and global food security on a scale never seen before. The moon's role in stabilizing Earth's rotation is now gone, and the new planetary wobble brings unprecedented changes in the weather. Agriculture collapses into chaos, and those humans left experience persistent and widespread famines. The disappearance of moonlight casts a shadow over the night. Nocturnal wildlife behavior changes, predatory and foraging behavior which previously aligned with lunar light are thrown off, and these nighttime reliant ecosystems are destroyed. For humans, the psychological impact is huge. Moonlit nights, a muse for poets, artists and dreamers are now in the realm of myth and memory. Celestial navigation loses its way and everyone, from mariners to astronomers, must now navigate a moonless sky. Complicating our understanding of the cosmos and challenging the precision of space missions. Culturally, the impact is immeasurable. The moon has held our myths, arts and linguistic expressions, enriching human culture with its enchanting phases and cycles. Festivals, religious observances and calendars have evolved in sync with its rhythms. Without it, our cultural landscape has grown dimmer, losing a key symbol that inspired hope, awe and wonder since the dawn of humanity. With this scary scenario out of the way, rest assured, there are no plans to nuke the moon at the moment. It would take an incredible number of nukies and multi-stage rockets to get them anywhere near and we simply don't have the technology to do this. Plus, with all this in mind, why would we want to? Now next time you look out at the night sky and see the moon shining down, you might just have a bit more appreciation for our beautiful lunar friend. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of our next video release. Click our link in description to shop our cosmic store and bring the beauty of the cosmos to your bedroom.